The world still does not have a vaccine for the coronavirus. And no one seems to have a definite answer as to when we could have one. But people need to get back to work and economies need to reopen. So countries around the world are now trying to live with the virus. In other words, they are reopening with the hope that people would take adequate measures to keep themselves from being infected. Countries around the world have eased lockdown restrictions. They are looking at reopening their economies. In France, people can now leave their homes without paperwork. They can return to work. Businesses have been allowed to reopen. Social distancing, however, is non-negotiable. And a mask is a must. There is a fine of 135 euros if found without one. Preschools and elementary schools have been given the green light. In Switzerland, some parents are wary of sending their children to school. This is an unprecedented situation that we are living in. We don't have all the answers. So, of course, it raises a lot of questions. Switzerland has given a go-ahead to most businesses. Restaurants are allowed to host guests. And waiters need not wear masks. Vietnam, too, is lifting the coronavirus curbs. Kindergartens and primary schools have been reopened. Authorities have tweaked the curriculum to keep up with the times. We have shortened the curriculum. We will now be teaching raw life skills. Kids will be taught simple things like how to wash their hands, wear a mask and maintain social distancing. Vietnam is yet to give permission to dance clubs and karaoke bars to reopen. As countries reopen, they are experimenting with various approaches. Spain, for example, has adopted a four-step easing plan. In the Canary and Balearic Islands, bars, restaurants and shops have reopened. Curtsy the drop in cases. Museums and gyms too have received a go-ahead. But Madrid and Barcelona did not meet the government's criteria for easing measures. As the week progresses, more countries are expected to ease restrictions. New Zealand will allow malls, cinemas and gyms to reopen from the 14th of May. In Australia's New South Wales, residents will be allowed to host as many as five visitors starting the 15th of May. Cafes and restaurants too will be allowed to serve 10 people at a time. But how wise is it to ease restrictions? Does it not risk the spread of infection? The US is the perfect example to answer this question. Several American states have reopened. There are people on the beaches of Maryland. Los Angeles is allowing hikes. Experts, on the other hand, are revising death toll estimates. The University of Washington predicts that the US could now have as many as 137,184 deaths by August. A jump of over 60,000. There is also the risk of a second wave. So is the worst over. In the absence of a definite answer, easing restrictions may just be a very risky gamble. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.